Corny, why were you off of the ranch last night? Where were you? I went into town. Why? Why? Trouble broke loose here last night. Slim Elkins was shot and killed. We've been looking everywhere for you. Well, you could have saved yourself the trouble, Dave. I told you I was going into the post to report to your brother. Sorry about Elkins. You didn't tell me any such thing, and I don't like it. I'm going to tell my brother so the next time I see him. Listen, I'm the foreman of the KCY, not you. I go and come when I please. I'll get that straight once and for all. All right. Come on, Marco. I'm riding out to the ranch double with you. Good, don't he? I expected to find you here ahead of me, Captain. Oh, I've been ahead of you all along, Carney. Now get a horse saddle and I'll give you your orders. I was just about to do it. Tough about Slim Elkins, ain't it? Tough on his sister Jane. Yeah, it's going to be tougher on the fellow who did it. Yeah, I'll say. I'll get my horse. How are you, Dave? Well, you know, I guess. We've been having plenty to worry about. Yeah, I know. Colton. Come on, Dave. Tell your brother all about it. Well... Elkins and I had been suspicious of the old road national line for a long time. So we used the cattle as an excuse to go down there and see what was going on. We waited in the dark for over an hour, I guess. And boy, was it dark. It was blacker than the inside of a cow at midnight. Finally, we saw a couple of headlights coming. But when they got to the border, they turned them off. They must have seen us and figured we were some of Colton's men. About that time, up on the hill behind us, we heard something like a horseman coming through the brush and it sounded like he was trying to keep his horse quiet. We both turned at the same time and saw a streak of fire and heard a gunshot. Slim dropped to the ground. I emptied my six-shooter at where I saw the fire come from and while I was reloading, I heard the purr of a motor and the car disappeared. That's a fine how do you do, Colton. What do you think they were running? It's pretty hard to say. Well, why'd they shoot without giving warning? You see, the car was filled with contraband of some kind or another. To be caught meant a long federal prison term. Their spies on this side must have recognized Dave and Slim. As you know, Captain, dead men tell no tales. Well, I'll be getting back to the post. If you want any help, just yell good and loud. I won't be doing any yelling. It'll come from the other side this time. I'm going to be Hair Trigger Casey again. Start shooting and asking questions afterwards. Well, give me the lowdown. What happened? You know, we got Slim. And we'd have got Casey's brother, too. If he hadn't a trained to shoot like he does with that Hair Trigger, one of his slugs got Tony. Is he dead? Yeah, and buried. But the car got through. Well, where's the money? Abner collected that. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. And the next time you're riding with Carney, never take your eyes off him. Yeah, but what about you? Same for me. Well, we'll go back to the corral and get the boys. We'll start to the border. We'll work our way back to the ranch house. See what we can uncover. They must have left some trace behind. Well, let's get back to the others before they start looking for us. Okay.
Come in, amigo. Oh, you seem surprised to find someone here. Well, yeah. I'll say I am. I happen to own this cabin. I didn't know anyone lived here. Oh, no. I am not living here, senor. I just chase some steers. I see them come this way. I ride and ride. I get tired. Then I see this place. I come inside. I say, well, Jose, here's a good place for siesta. I was just about to sleep when you come. Well, you can take a siesta here as long as you like, if that's all you're doing here. But I've been riding a good bit of the day all through this section. And the only steers I've seen are some that belong to me. Oh, well, maybe they get hungry, they go home by this time. I go too, just so soon as I have siesta. With your permission, senor. Oh, there's no hurry. Just take your time. Adios. Adios, senor. I just ran into a queer-looking Mexican over at the old cabin. He doesn't look right to me. Now that you fellas are here, we'll go back and look him over. A little closer. Now take it easy and don't make any more noise than we have to. the rest away and don't make a sound. So, you think you have come to this country for nothing, eh? True, I have received $150 for each of you, but it is not enough. Maybe these only make you jump, eh? Ah, the gondola! 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 Ah, the What's the idea of firing that shot, Merkel? Oh, it was an accident. My gun hadn't been even been out of my holster. Must have got the hammer got caught here on my sleeve. Oh, yeah? 
Well, you better go back and stay with the horses. Maybe you can keep them quiet. Don't be frightened, senorita. I am in a hurry. I must go someplace quick. You will drive me. You are stopped. And betray my presence in this car. I will kill you. Now, you drive straight down the road. I will tell you when to turn. Sorry to bother you, Jane, but you didn't see a rider coming down the road dressed as a Mexican, did you? Wait, you're the first one I've seen on the road, Captain. Are you sure, Jane? Quite sure. Sorry again to have bothered you. have been in that car we heard. My brother's after him. Get the horse and we'll take him along with us.
give me a chance, Casey. I've had enough. Carney. Of all men. You. You. This, Carney, is what you call gratitude. Gee, that was a slick piece of work you getting him like that. Who'd ever suspected Carney was the man we wanted? I wish he hadn't have been. It's kind of broken my faith in humanity. See that he gets back to the ranch. Okay. Come on, Carney. Get over there. I can't tell you how glad I am it turned out the way it did. I was afraid he'd kill you if I told you he was in the car. It might have been just as well if he had. You remember my pal I told you about during the war? What a close call we had? And how I finally came through with him? Yes, I remember. Well, Carney was the man. Will you be all right now, Jane? Can you go along without any of us following you? Oh, yes, I guess I'll be all right. Thanks. I'm going back to the post. Um, I'd like to see you before I go. Well, I'd like to see you too, Jim. Your story. Pretty smart racket, eh, Carney? You and the others dressing as Mexicans and throwing the blame on innocent people. I ought to turn you over to the Mexican Rurales. They'd soon handle your case. I guess I've got it coming all right. But I needed dough. They told me it'd be easy. All I had to do was run a few loads across, collect, and forget about it. You didn't know I could talk Spanish, did you? I lived in Mexico for years. How'd you learn how to disguise your face like that? Berry stain. Little trick I learned from an old Indian. And with the addition of a false mustache, the rest was easy. You fooled me, Carney. More ways than one. You've certainly shaken my faith in my fellow man. You should have done as I told you, Casey. You left me in that shell hole. I guess you were right. If you go down to that old cabin, you'll find three Chinamen in the cellar. It's pretty small, so you better get them out of there if you want them alive. You hear that, Colton? We'll take care of them. How does Abner, my cook, figure in on this deal? <laughs> it was his idea. Oh, well, then we'll start by slipping them on you, mister. Don't move any of you. Get him up. Get back against that wall. You won't go far, Carney. You've double-crossed too many of your friends. Somebody's bound to get you. That's the chance I'm willing to take, Casey. Uh, talk English. All right, Mr. Carney. We have showdown now. I want money you took from my countrymen. You're talking at the wrong time. Get out of my way.
Any sign of him? He must have made his getaway. What's that over there? Connie was right. I should have left him in that shell hole. about him, boys. Colton's men will get him at the crossroad. <laughs> There's the captain's hat. And this old boy, he sure went the wall fast. I guess if you could talk, you sure would tell him many story. No, I have not never done that. What's the matter with me, no, huh? Just up in here and... Oh, yeah. You're going to be alone more than ever now, Jane. And you're going to kind of need somebody to lean on. Yeah. 